before the tutor gets here? How's that feel, Hannah? Okay. Feels okay? Mm -hmm. Good, Crystal. Hug your chest with your mm -hmm. arms overlapped. There you go. Then you can shift side to side on that foam roller. And Hannah, when you're ready, shift to the left glute in a figure four seated position. Please and thank you. And then Crystal, when you're ready, you'll pause with the foam roller on your spine. Open and close your chest with your arms wide open five total times. And then hug the chest, nice job. Good. Hannah, point the toe towards the shin on your left foot. You'll feel a little bit more of the piriformis there getting massage. Good, Crystal. Keep breathing while engaging the core. Cueing the abs if necessary. Good, and on this last one, shift side to side again, kind of massaging the muscles on either side of the spine. Good, Hannah, switch to the left hip now. So you're gonna be shoulders perpendicular to the ground. And then Crystal, when you're ready, we're gonna turn the foam roller back to perpendicular to the spine, right up underneath the shoulder blades, right here, hands behind the head and squeeze forward. Try to touch the elbows in front of you and then open back up and slightly extend the back. Squeeze, touch the elbows, extend, squeeze, and extend five total times. Nice, good. And on the fifth one, keep your elbows squeezed together. And then you'll lift up your glutes and you'll roll north and south on the mid trap and low trap and rhomboids. Feeling how it opens up the shoulder blades and massages along the spine and the rib cage. Yeah, that feels great. <laughs> Say that again. That feels great. <laughs> yeah, this is a good one to do every day. Okay, Hannah, go into the calves with the red and black ball. We're gonna massage all three sides of the calf, inside, middle, and outside. Just going north and south, rotating the foot back and forth. Nice, Crystal, and then when you're ready, go to the hamstrings with the foam roller next. How was your trip? It was good, actually. While Colorado was getting snow, was Arizona getting 90 degree weather? It wasn't that hot. It was about 80, 80, 85 was probably the highest. So it was really nice. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. You guys got more snow? We did a little bit um, Sunday night into Monday morning. Oh, wow. Maybe an inch here, but uh, like Castle Rock got another six inches. Oh. Jeez. Yeah, we might have like one or two more big snowstorms before real spring hits us. 
That might be why my folks are so excited to come visit. Yes. Hannah, switch to the other calf if you have not yet. I did do a lot of walking, so that's good. Oh, that is great. Was it hiking or just walking? Just walking. Okay. Yeah, we have another client in Miami and she was just in Tampa uh, like a week ago, I think, for four days. Was she here for spring break? Uh, she had a uh, sister and a cousin come into town and that's where they chose to spend their weekend. Right. Yeah, I heard we made the news again. Or no, I guess Miami made the news for spring break craziness. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, Boulder made the news yesterday. So, my son's tutor's here. Ah, got it. Uh, hopefully, that means the dogs like the tutor. They do. <laughs> okay, ladies, uh, hop up and we'll do our calf stretch against the wall. So I think the dog interrupted you. Did you say that you saw the news from Boulder? I did. That was really sad. Yeah, it's terrible. Someone in one of the a guy went in from two days and shot ten people. Or more than ten, but two people died. Good. Fifteen seconds each calf. Bring that front foot forward like we're in a split stance. Really lengthening out that calf stretch there. <laughs> that was a nice little trick that Rex just did between your legs. <laughs> Good and switch the legs. All right, when you're done with that calf, we'll come to TFL stretch, lying on our back. Straight leg up, and then drop it across the body here. Nice, feel that in the outside of the hip. Fifteen seconds. Crystal, go ahead and switch. Hannah, bring your foot just a little bit higher up your towards your there you go. And then drop it across the body. Yep. Good, Hannah, go ahead and switch. Bring that leg straight up first. And then drop it across the body. Hamstrings are tight, Hannah. Whew. Good, Crystal, when you're ready, we're just gonna jump on physio ball wall squats to warm up. You have three sets of 12 today. Um, I have one more, not that I plan this, but I have been waiting eight weeks for a window to be replaced. They're showing up between 10, 30 and 11. Okay. All right. All I have to do is let, well, it's outside. So okay. I'm sure they'll ring the door. Sure, the dogs will let us know. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, Hannah, we're gonna we're gonna take this first set of jump squats and uh, perform multiple response, 
Um, the first set will be uh, lower intensity and then we'll boost up the intensity on the second and the third set. So our jump squats are load, unload. You have six reps strong together, one right after the other. Three times through will be our warm up. I'm gonna make it bigger. Good. Crystal, slide the feet out just a little bit away from the wall. There you go. Nice. Very well done. Good. That was more than six. Nice, Hannah. <laughs> uh, just a little bit wider on the feet so that our knees track outward. Um, I'm seeing a, just a little bit of the collapsing of the knees inward. Keeping our knee joints nice and safe. Do you want me to do the other six now? Uh, yes, please, after that rest period. Nice job. I feel like I should ask you how your spring break was, but I guess you didn't really have one. <laughs> Um, yeah, that would be a good question. Nice, Hannah. That last one was really good. I, I saw the knees track outward really well. Uh, I'm going to take, uh, not this Friday, Saturday, but the next weekend at the cabin. Ooh, nice. Yeah. So, uh, barring another foot of snow up there, cause my, that's what my parents got over the weekend was a foot of snow. Uh, we're going to go celebrate three birthdays in my family. Oh, wow. Plus, plus Easter. Nice. All right, Hannah, last set. We're going to land soft, load, unload. See how wide my knees are here. Nice and smooth transition from one to the next. Good, nice, good, excellent. Good. And rest. Do you feel as if your heels are touching the ground every rep, Hannah? Or is it more on like midfoot forward? I don't always have my heels touch the ground. Okay. Uh, when we're jumping, planting, and pivoting, uh, most of the time the heel will be in contact with the ground. Um, it equally distributes the, your body weight and it produces more power um, while keeping your knees safe. So as we progress over the next month, uh, we'll be mindful of um, landing and jumping with uh, the heel in contact with the ground. Sound good? Yep. All right, excellent. So we'll go through our dynamic warm up. We're gonna place both of you. We're gonna place our heel in the floor, reach through the heel and then to the ceiling. Alternate, reach through the heel to the ceiling, nice and smooth. Five each side. Why don't you do it? Oh, what? Okay, let's alternate like we're walking across the room. Quite different. No. There you go. Good. Nice tall reach overhead. Good. Feel that hamstring. Boom. Nice, Crystal. Good, Hannah. Just like that. I wasn't counting. That's three. And three, two more each side. Good, nice. Hug the knee and alternate, grabbing the shin right below the knee. Excellent, good. 
Nice job. Five each side. Good. That was five. Nice job. So we can find something to hold on to for balance, but raise one quad up to parallel to the ground and swing the ankle back and forth like it's a <laughs> Hannah. <laughs> Good. Good. And switch the leg. Nice job. These are controlled articular rotations of the ankle joint. Point the toe towards the shin. Feel the range of motion get smaller. Nice job. Good, come back to center and we'll rock from heel to toe. Heel to toe. Six times. When you're on your heel, you'll pull your toes up to your chin. Yes. Good. And then point the toe behind you and spin. Uh, the toe will touch the ground lightly. <laughs> yeah, yes, Crystal, that's perfect. Just like that. <laughs> Drawing circles with the heel, not the toe. And switch. Nice job, Hannah. So bring the bring the arms up to parallel to the ground here and rotate from parallel to the ground to fingers pointing to the ceiling. Ready? Here. Up top. Excellent. Nice job. Six of those. And then pause up top and close and open, close and open here to there. Nice. Very good. All right, so we'll grab our dumbbells, take a wide stance, toes pointed at 45 degree angle, and deadlift, curl, press. Down, curl, press. You have three sets of 10. What am I supposed to do? Crystal, you're going to roll out on your physio ball. And if you have any amount of dumbbell, like it can be small, it can be light, glute, bridge. I have five pounds. That works. Put one in each hand. Nice, Hannah. Go wider on the feet for me, please. Good. Great job. Oh, hold them on my stomach. Crystal, they'll actually they'll actually be here on your hip. Yes. And you'll turn them so that they match with the crease in your hip on the handles. Yes. Good. Makes it hard. Dip. Drive. Squeeze the glutes at the top. How many? Nice, Hannah. Very good.
Good, finish strong. No. Well done, Hannah. Nice job. Like, groups of twelve. <laughs> Say that again, Chris. I, the dog was barking. Groups of twelve. Yes, please. Thank you. All right, round two. Here we go. Nice, 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 good. Was that your window people, Crystal? Yes. Okay. Good, keep a nice neutral uh, neck. I see the chin kind of pinching down a little bit, which curves the curves the thoracic through. Excuse me, cervical spine. Oh. Good, 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 good. Nice, nice. Finish strong, finish strong. Very well done. Nice job. Three sets. Good job. So Hannah, you're going to do as many push-ups as you can regular. And then you'll finish off the set uh, from your knees to get to 12 total reps. So as many as you can regular, finish off the set of 12 from your knees. Uh, Crystal, we're gonna do physio ball planks. So I like to set my forearms on the ball first in a kneeling position, and then simply raise my knees up and off the ground into a plank position. Hannah, three sets of 12. Crystal, three sets of the like max hold. When your hips start to lower, that's when we know that um, Put your hands together, but the elbows apart. So like in this frame, there you go. Excellent. Yes. Like that. Nice. Good. Hannah. Excellent. Draw the belly button to the spine. Cue the core. Did you get all 12 there, Hannah? Yeah. Nice. Nice, Crystal. Rest period. Feel all that, all that core activation? Yeah. Great. I feel like it's Monday morning for me. You feel like what? It's Monday morning for me. <laughs> When in actuality, it's like Tuesday afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go, second set.
Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Nice. Um, Good. Pacific time. <laughs> <laughs> Round three. What's that? Three hours difference? Four hours difference? Three hours. Yikes. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. eat people. I know. Boom. All right, Chris. So we got fizzy ball dead bugs next. <clears throat> Where we're pinching between our thighs and between our forearms, opposite arm, opposite leg. Just make sure that the low back stays flat on the floor at all times. You have six each side. I was doing those at the beach and Hannah didn't think it was very funny. Really, without the physio ball? Yes. Yeah. I can I can imagine that the instability of the sand would be great for the core. <laughs> All right, Hannah. So you're gonna get the dumbbells. Crystal toes to the shin. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Excellent. And Hannah, you've got dead bill, uh, excuse me, uh, dumbbell RDLs down to the mid shin and back up, squeeze the glutes. You have 12 of those. And then you're gonna go straight into bent over row, 12 and 12. Good, Crystal, shins lower to parallel to the ground. Excellent, good. You're gonna feel the core activate more. Yep. <laughs> Good. Squeeze the hell out of that ball. Good. Hannah, widen the feet just a tiny bit. Excellent. Oh. Awesome. Feel the difference in the hamstrings there. Good, raise those shins up parallel to the ground. There you go, nice job. Good, Hannah, elbows in tight. Nice, good, very good. Excellent, Crystal, drawing that belly button down to the spine. Good job, Hannah. When uh, when the elbows flare out, we start to see like a, a scrunching up of the shoulders. But when they're nice and tight, we've got a nice flat back, grounded shoulder blades. Nice job. Don't do that. <laughs> Breaks. I'll break the carpet. Good. Shins up, Crystal. Shins up. <laughs> Hannah, when you're ready, second set. Not <laughs> 
Excellent. Good. Nice. Very good. Good glute squeeze at the top there, Hannah. Try to break that pencil between the glutes. Yes. Good, Hannah. Flex the knees just a little bit more. Yes, yes. Feel the core. Boom. Good. Good, Crystal. Shins up a little bit. There you go. Good. Feel how that pushes the ball back towards your forearms and engages the core even more. Good, Hannah. Last set when you're ready. Nice. Good, Crystal. We'll have a seat on the on the physio ball next when you're ready. Good. We're going to roll out to the, to like the low back, mid back area, place the hands on the chest and we're going to ab crunch just a short range of motion here, isolating the rectus abdominis from here to here. Excellent. Nice. Feel that activation of the rectus abdominis breath out, breath in. Breath out, good. Look at the ceiling instead of your hands. Nice, good, feel how that straightens out your spine and your neck. Good, 12 reps, three times through. <laughs> Hannah, we're gonna do two exercises back to back. So we're gonna put the dumbbells here at our shoulders and we'll squat and perform 12 squats and then come straight to rear delt fly. 12 and 12 for me, please. Nice, Hannah. Widen the feet just a tiny bit. There you go. Good. Knees are looking good. Good brace core. Good, Crystal. Really isolate the abs at the top. Give me a good breath out. Excellent. Nice job. Good, Hannah. Flex the knees just a little bit more. Glutes back. Nice job. That's the position right there. Feel the core engage when you're there. Nice job, nice job. Three total sets there, Hannah. Finish strong, Crystal.
Nice, Hannah. Very good. Krista, grab some water and then uh, we'll finish with some modified side planks. I can really go grab some water? <laughs> if you want to. I just saw you take a drink. Was that coffee? Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> You know, I, ha I have like maybe one cup of coffee a month. One I know day. it just makes me, makes me so anxious and irritable. Oh, I, I went into AFib yesterday again, so I should eventually stop. I could, I could get behind that. <laughs> If I could find an easy way to drink tea, if it was just as easy, which I'm sure I could probably figure out. Right. Okay, Crystal. So here's your modified side plank. We're going to be on our forearm, uh, elbow directly below our shoulder joint, knees flexed. And then I simply just drive my hips up and forward, squeezing my bottom glute and squeezing the bottom abs. So knees flexed maybe even a little bit more flexion, bring the heels to the glutes, keep going, keep going, there you go, right there, and then simply just drive up and forward and hold side plank. I love side planks, they're fun. Nice, Crystal. Cue those, cue those abs if necessary. And then cue the lower ab as well, your left ab like this. Feel that? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Good. Switch when you're ready. Finish strong, Hannah. Finish strong. Good, Hannah. Flex those knees a little bit. Slow down the range of motion. There you go. Nice and smooth. Excellent. Good. Perfect. Just like that. Good. You guys watching basketball? Was. Yeah, Florida State beat CU. They did see. I was surprised. I was honestly surprised CU won the first one. Only because I'm not used to CU winning. Yeah. Right. Okay, Hannah, here's your side plank version. You're going to be on your elbow. The feet are split apart. Come up into side plank and then reach under. Like we're giving ourselves a big bear hug. Reach under and then open up. You have 10 reps each side for me, please. Yep, left foot in front, nice job. Right foot in front, you're good. Excellent, good. And then track your hand with your eyes. So watch your right hand go underneath your body. Excellent, good. That gives us a little bit more core rotation there. Nice, Crystal, straight spine, chin towards me. There you go. Nice. Nice. Watch your hand go underneath you there, Hannah. Excellent. Nice job. Why are you asking her for pencils? You should have all your own pencils. So you can go in the den and get pencils. Just don't go near the glass. All right, Hannah, next set when you're ready. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, 
nice, 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 good. Finish strong, finish strong. There you go, Crystal. Cue those lower abs if you need to. Is he ready for me? No, I need four punches. You seriously, there's punches in the deck. Why do you need four, Gabby? Kevin, just go to your schoolwork. Just go in the den. Go get He's in the den. I'm not going to the den. Oh my gosh, Kevin. Here we go. Here we go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Finish strong. There it is, there it is. Switch when you need to, Crystal. Just don't stop wasting your time. I know. Hannah, don't, Myron. You dropped my coffee. You're all well, in trouble. Last set when you're ready, Hannah. Ha, you are moving. Crystal, when you're ready, I'll have you grab the physio ball for our uh, a stretch. <clears throat> so single arm, thumb points towards the ceiling. We're almost going to rock all the way back into child's pose, but there might be a gap between our glutes and our heels. And then shift those heels back. Nice. Feel the lat stretch behind your right shoulder. Yeah. And possibly in the mid and low back in the center near the spine. Oh, right there. Yeah. This is a good one for you. Yeah, those are all the places the massage person told me I get all these knots. Mm-hmm. So great. Yeah, small muscles that are giving you problems when you sit for periods of time. Yep. Good, and then switch the arms. Nice. Good, stay nice and square in the shoulders. Good job, straighten out that left arm. There you go. Good, that might even bring it up near the shoulder in the stretch. Good, Hannah, you're gonna do the same type of stretch, but you'll do it on the, um, on the railing right there. So you'll be here and then you'll stretch back down by lowering your hips, flexing your knees. And then Crystal go with both arms in that same stretch. Yep. Straight arm there, Hannah, straight right arm. Thumb points up, nice job. And then flex the knees. Drop the hips back. There you go. And try to push your chest to the ground by opening up your shoulder blades, pulling them back. Nice. If you don't feel it right behind your right armpit, then flex the knees a little bit more and drive the chest to the ground. Good, Crystal. Straighten out those arms by putting pressure down and into the ball. There you go. Feel that stretch between the shoulders. Yeah. 
and Hannah switch the arms. Good, thumb points up. Yep. Nice, Crystal, good job. And Hannah, you'll go to both hands next to each other. And Crystal, you have two choices to finish yourself off. Big chest opening stretch on the physio ball or just curling around the ball face down. Nice job, Hannah. Don't touch me. <laughs> Hannah, go ahead and lie on your side. Stack the knees, stack the hips, stack the feet, stack the hands, and open all the way up. Feel this low back rotational stretch. Five deep breaths each side. How's that feel, Crystal? Great, if my daughter would stop touching me. <laughs> Flex the knees, Hannah. Bring them up to 90 degrees. There you go. Good, five deep breaths when you hold open and track that left hand with your eyes. So look back towards your left hand. Excellent. Feel that low back rotational stretch and hold it open for five deep breaths. Nice, Crystal. This stretch that Hannah is doing right now is something you can do on your own as well. Yeah. You'll, you'll feel this in your low back. And then Hannah, when you're ready, you can switch sides. Okay. How are you feeling, Crystal? It will help you in the future, so look. Oh my God. Yeah, I got a quick question for you, Crystal. Yes. Uh, what kind of a receipt did you need from me? What, what do you need it to say? Pain management? Oh. Yeah, that's probably, yeah. I think that's perfect because that applies to, yeah, pain management. Um. Yeah, because not only will that apply to the accident, that applies to my small fiber neuropathy, which is okay. lifetime. Mm -hmm. So I can apply okay. that to anything. Okay, that sounds good. I'll draft something up. And if you need me to change it, just email it back to me Okay. with, with some edits. Which applies, to, so that's a perfect segue. So am I, is that automatic then? Well, my yeah. next, okay. Can you tell me which credit card I used? Is there somewhere okay. that you can yeah, tell let me, me that from? Yeah, let me look it up really quick. Was it the 22nd that that um, membership began? Great question. Does that mean it will probably be on the credit card already? Yeah. Oh. Let's see. I just want to make sure it's on one that I get points for until I switch it to the other, to the HSA. I have ending in 0042. Oh, perfect. Okay. Yep. Okay. That's, that's the one I wanted. 
Great. I will, I will send you two receipts um, with pain management as the service. And uh, I'll do it in like some, I'll look up some examples of HSA receipts and things like that. And I'll just duplicate them. Awesome. And then I will send it through. And if it all works out, then that might be a benefit for you for some other people. Okay. Yeah. I can, I can let people know that that's part of the service and that it's approvable and things like that. Yeah. It's exciting. I love it. Yeah. So how are you feeling? I'm happy. I feel so much better this morning. I start my day way better this way. Mm -hmm. Later. It's Anna, how about you? Good. I need to take the last seven minute clock. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> I know. I know. Madison is the same way. Like, I try to bring out some enthusiasm. So, Hannah, I, I, I feel you, girl. <laughs> hey, it's later in the day today, except for it's yeah. over state school. So, mm. you know. Okay. I'll see you guys Thursday. Sounds good. Thank you. Nice work today. Appreciate you. Bye. Bye.